Before we start, hello, let me introduce myself. My name is Indirest. Um, the me you see right now, the Life 2D me, uh, is not the me that will be appearing in the stream or in this video because I still haven't debuted it yet and uh, I'm working on that. <laughs> um, but in case you're wondering, you know, what my sources are, I have been a content creator for four years before I became a VTuber. So I've got some fair experience. Um, but, you know, even though I've got the experience, I do want to say this is not a guaranteed guide to success or anything. Uh, doing these things has led me to success in the past. And that's why I want to share it with you guys. But again, um, it's not a guaranteed do these things and you're going to get big all right <laughs> uh the footage is for my stream it might be a little chopped up because i interact a lot with the chat and it does disrupt the flow of you know my teaching a lot so if you see some random cuts that's because uh i was interacting with the chat that's everything <laughs> without further ado i hope you enjoy my video do an intro now? Okay, how how do you how do you do it like a like a pog like a pog like YouTube intro? What's up everybody? My name's Andres. Welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be discussing how to be a good VTuber. Now I know. <laughs> I don't know. YouTube, if you're a cute girl, give me a call. No, I I am not going to pull any punches here. Like um, I'm going to say things as they are. They might seem a little mean. Um, they might seem a little like uh, I don't think they'll be controversial, but just know I'm not saying it to be mean. Okay. I'm just saying the truth. Okay. The truth <laughs> So when you get into VTubing, there's two ways you can start and I, I highly recommend Starting as like just normal streaming like without uh, like a VTube avatar or anything um, or PNG VTubing because um Money. When you start streaming, you're gonna need a good or decent mic because nobody is going to listen to someone that has shitty mic quality, okay? I'm gonna give you guys an example right now. I'm gonna switch to my webcam, um, webcam mic, okay? Cover your ears because this is gonna be <laughs> horrible to listen to. Okay, I, I think I am now talking <laughs> to my webcam mic, but nobody is going to listen to someone that's streaming with their webcam mic, all right? Um, so, <laughs> so if you've got a mic like this, don't, don't stream. Please invest in the proper mic. If I talk like this, the entire, the, the entire stream, nobody's gonna keep watching. Uh, what if you use background noise uh, remover over the webcam mic? Um, the filters, like the background noise reduction filter thing was also applied to the webcam already. So what you just heard was the webcam mic with, <laughs> with the filters on. I got a toner TC77 last year in March. Is it decent enough for this? Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What I will say is as long as it's a standalone mic, I think it's fine. Like for me, I'm using a Yeti, um, but I know that a Yeti is really fucking pricey. I think I paid like a solid 200, 150, 200. I think it was on sale. I think I paid like 150 for it. Um, but there, there are cheaper alternatives for mics, for standalone mics that work just fine. You don't have to go all out and buy a Yeti, you know? Um, it def yeah, like Pingu said, it's definitely the best option to go for. Uh, you don't have to, you can definitely make deal with other mics. Um, and especially for VTubers, because uh, when you're VTubing, your voice is make or is like giving your character a life right your voice is basically all you are especially when you're vtubing um so mic is very important okay uh does it matter if i stream at 720p 30 fps or worse because of network issues okay i'm gonna get into that right now um because minimum upload speed of at least 10 uh is it megabits i think it's megabits per second this is the bare minimum the bare minimum anything less you can check uh you can check your your upload speed on a site that's called what's it called speed test i think it's called speed test you just type it in you just click on the button and it like uh, measures your speed if you have uh upload speed like up not download speed upload speed that's lower than 10 megabits per second don't stream get better wi-fi because it's not going to be worth if you if you have anything lower than this the stream is going to look extreme 
pixelated, it's gonna look really bad. Um, and when it looks bad, uh, like this is the bare minimum. If it's lower than this, nobody's gonna watch. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, so you also need like a decent PC or a laptop, right? I think I say decent, but a lot of PCs, like especially if you've got a gaming PC, mine is not great. Like I'm, I'm gonna be honest, mine is not great. I've got a Ryzen 5, I've got an AMD RX 580 graphics card, 16 gigs, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, like it's not great. It's not shit. But, you know, the only thing you need to realize is that it's one thing to play games, but it's another to stream the game as well, to play the game and stream it, right? So you're gonna need, like, a decent PC for this, otherwise it's gonna, like, explode. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna explode your toaster, bro. <laughs> um, right, last, you need some money. Not a lot, just some money. Um, for PNG and starting, like, just, just starting off with streaming, right? Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, like, do a reality check on you. Um... For Life 2D VTubing, which is, you know, with the whole moving avatar thing that tracks your face. Sample. Um, this stays the same, minimum upload speed, decent good mic. Um, but you're gonna need a good PC or a good, lap uh, or a good laptop with a webcam because you need the webcam. Or if you're lucky, if you have an iPhone, you can use an iPhone as well. I think it's like a certain edition of an iPhone, but... Um, Remember, you need to have a decent PC because you'll be running OBS, a program, Graham as well. Exactly. You're going to need a decent PC. It doesn't have to be like, uh, thank you for the water redeem cam. I've got fans instead. Hold on here. Check your posture. Thank you. Okay. Let me take a sip. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> or you can just buy a, a webcam. A webcam is fine too. I do know that iPhone gives better face facial tracking. Um, like you can do like pouty things and stuff on an iPhone that you can't do on webcam, I think. I might just be chatting, I'm not sure. Um, but for like 2D VTubing, you need a good PC. Not just a decent one, a good one. Because on top of OBS, on top of the game you're streaming, and on top of other third-party apps that you're using, you're also going to be using uh, like VTube Studio or like Live, Live, what is it called again? like another program that tracks your face. And those programs also take a lot of like performance out of your PC. So you're gonna need a good PC for live 2D uh, VTubing. Um, and next to that, you need a lot of money for live 2D VTubing. Um, I'm not kidding when I say a lot of money, I, I mean a lot of money. And that's why if you are completely new to streaming or if you're completely new to VTubing, uh, I highly suggest you try it first with PNG VTubing, like right here, tubing. Especially, it's better for your wallet, it's better for you. Maybe, maybe you're not even gonna like streaming, especially if you've never streamed before. Maybe you're not even gonna like streaming. Um, maybe you're not even gonna like VTubing, right? And you don't wanna throw all that money on an expensive <laughs> model and then realize, damn, this is shit. I don't want to do this anymore, right? So I'm going to show you guys <laughs> the prices for what VTubing is uh, like, all right? So, <laughs> um, you're going to need stream scenes. Stream scenes usually go, so these are price ranges, by the way, from what I've gathered. And then again, I like, hold on, let me try to get it a little bit censored. Ah, okay. Then again, like, Everyone like the prices differ by artist uh, and stuff, but generally like stream scenes are between one and two hundred euros. I'm doing it in euros. I don't know what it is in dollars. Um, you have Twitch panels you can pay for five to twenty logos ten to three hundred. Um, affiliate emotes affiliate emotes tend to be uh, more expensive because because uh, you're paying for a commercial fee. And commercial fee is basically an extra fee you're paying because you are making money off of the artist's work. So you're paying a little bit extra. Uh, a ref sheet, you're gonna need a ref sheet. If you're gonna be become a VTuber, you're gonna need a ref sheet because um, artists are gonna need your ref sheet to, you know, make all of this. So you're gonna have to invest money like one way or another. Um, you can, this is also why you should start as a PNG tuber before Life 2D. PNGs um, only cost like 25 to 1K. I don't even think they go as high as 1K. Um, when you, but when you go for a Life 2D model, those cost like 
100 to 5k sometimes even above 5k and that's only the model art because the life dude you're also gonna have to rig that you're also gonna have to make that move and that also costs like 70 to 3k uh, to 3k and again prices vary like for all of these uh depending on you know uh where you are and what the what the quality of the art and you can you can you can you can find a lot of stuff that's very cheap like it doesn't have to be expensive but you're going to spend money nonetheless especially especially if you want to uh start vtubing with like a, a model that moves right that's gonna cost a lot uh, that's why a lot of vtubers um kind of have these own skills like for me I made these myself. I made my own logo. I made my own screen that I'm not even using <laughs> and I made my own panels. Um, so that saved me a bunch of money, right? Most VTubers are very hardworking. Uh, Sakura Aishi, she's another VTuber that uh, kind of a mutual of mine. She did everything herself. She made her, she drew her own model. She rigged her own model. She made her own screens and her own alerts and her own emotes. Like she worked really, really hard and she's doing really, really well. Um, so, and also, yeah, graphic design, like, I have no or very little experience with graf graphic design and was able to put these things together. So, you know, if you've got no money, don't worry, don't worry, it's not too hard to teach yourself how to do these things. It's really not. There's tutorials online, um, I don't know, if there is a high demand for it, I guess I can try to give my own tutorial on how I made these, um, but... Again, if you don't have too much money and you want to put all of it into like a ref sheet and just a PNG, like the bare basics, you can make these yourself. It's not too hard. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna do another reality check. I'm gonna be mean to you guys, okay? Um, I know that... Uh, just be rich. No, 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 you don't have to be rich. Just make sure that, you know, you you, uh, you save up at least. At least you save up, okay? Thank you for the headpad, Zed. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be a little bit mean here. I know, <laughs> I know VTubing is super like popular right now. Lots of people are trying it. And like, if you're on Twitter, you can see that lots of people are blowing up very quickly on Twitch, on YouTube, everywhere. Um, but that's the small majority. There's a lot of work and commitment and time and money they put in that. And, um, it's not gonna happen to you. <laughs> it's not gonna. Ha if it, you're not gonna, you know, become famous in a month, not in two months, not in three months, not in six six months, probably not even in a year. Um, like take for example, you guys probably know Shoto, right? Shoto and um, who else? Shoto and Shydeli, right? They're very popular VTubers, and it might look like they got, you know, like they blew up, and in a way they did. In a way they did. Um, but Shoto, both Shoto and Shy Lily have been working incredibly hard before that. They didn't just blow up. Like, it took them a solid two years. Next slide. Okay, now we're gonna get into the fun part, though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop shitting on everyone. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna stop, stop shitting on everyone that, like, doesn't have proper equipment. Uh, we're gonna get into the fun stuff now, which is branding. Because branding, I think, is super fun. Um... We got cocked up for burp. Oh my god. Okay, okay, right. So I've got these VTubers. These are all four very popular VTubers, right? And when you look at them, you can kind of already tell what they're about, right? Um, if you okay, what are what are your first impressions on this, right? So you've got if you don't know who she is, uh, don't worry. Just if you look at her, what is your first impression? Like, what do you see? Same with like the other with the other three. And I am, yes, I am including Corpo VTubers. I am including Corpo VTubers because they know what they're doing and I think they're good examples. Um, Lily! Um, right, so, you know, yeah, probably, probably kind of cute, kind of maybe intimidating. Um, hot, tall, dark, handsome person and dragon dragon that does racing right that's like my first my first impressions don't worry about it then just okay um okay and if you didn't know who they were if you didn't know who they were um <laughs> should we start being nice as snack <laughs> uh okay if you didn't know who they were this is shy lily i was talking about her earlier she's lewd but somehow wholesome as well like 
I don't know how she manages, but she's incredibly fucking cute and goofy, but also like vulgar. She's not afraid to, you know, say whatever, talk about whatever, be, be like lewd. All right. <laughs> um, hot demon man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Mori. Mori's from Hollow Live. She's a very hardworking dad. Like she's genuinely got like a dad personality. <laughs> and she's amazing at rapping if you guys don't know her. I think everyone knows her. At least if you know your way around um, VTubing. Um, yeah, you, you probably know Mori. Uh, does it matter to make your VTuber unique um, as possible, keeping it simple? I'm gonna get into that in a few seconds, so hold on to that. Um, Vox, you guys probably know Vox. Vox Akuma from Niji Sanji. Hot demon man, exactly what he looks like. And um, Selen Tatsuki, it's also from Niji Sanji. She is literally an apex predator, like an apex literally predator rank um i think i don't know if she still is but she's insanely cracked at apex she used to be a predator i think she still is i'm not sure though and she's also really fucking funny and goofy it's got a very distinctive laugh um and as you can probably see like what they do and what they're like um kind of reflects how they look right um that's what you want to do as a vtuber too right Okay, wait, hold on. If you didn't know, like I already said it just now, if you don't know what branding is, simply put, your brand is your promise to your customer. Because if you hadn't figured it out yet, um, becoming a VTuber or starting your own VTubing like career is basically like starting your own company. Um, and you can also use, you know, all of the money, you know, all the insane amounts of money that you spend on <laughs> on your on your VTuber model and stuff. You can call those investments to make yourself feel better. Um, but because it technically is. Okay. Uh, it tells them what they can expect from your products and services, and it differentiates your offering from that of in, of your competitors. Your brand is derived from who you are, who you want to be, and who people perceive you to be. Uh, as a VTuber, your model is your brand. And, you know, there's all their stuff as well. But your model is your most important, like, visual brand. Because when people when people are going to watch you, they're going to look at your model first. All right? Um, okay, so branding. How to start. Okay, so we've got, we've got Lily here. This is Lily's, uh, this is Lily's model. Um, orca. Tail. Orca. Lily likes orcas enough to become one, right? So usually, um, when you make your own VTuber model, because it's going to be you, this is this is this is basically shy Lily, right? Uh, you're gonna have to, you know, implement some things that you like, right? And in Lily's case, it's an orca. I think she really likes orcas, right? Um, I won't lie. Uh, I don't know too much about Lily, so do like forgive me if I say something wrong. Um, Lily's got an adorable fucking face her face is so fucking cute and that just kind of gives up cute and wholesome vibes right booba okay that's kind of important okay i know i know i'm saying booba but okay look okay the fact that her boobas are out and that she's wearing like um what's it called a see-through a see-through what do you call this a see-through top um kind of lets everyone know i know i know it sounds funny but <laughs> The fact that she's portraying it like this lets everyone know that Lily is lewd and Lily is okay with being looted. Um, like for me, if you compare that to me, my boobas are not really out. And you can probably tell uh, I'm not very lewd. I'm more like fucking gremlin energy, right? Um, and most VTubers that are okay with being looted and stuff, um, you know, they have their booba out. Big booba, they have booba out. They're very, they're, they're very pretty, like revealing clothing, right? Don't, don't make this like an excuse to like sexualize every VTuber that you see that has revealing clothing. Don't do that. Um, but you know, for Lily, it does like you know play a role in her content, and it, you know, it attracts people that might be interested in her content as well. Um, um, okay, right. So for how I did it, I liked horns, I like elf ears, and because I already knew I wanted to be, I wanted to not be a human, right? I didn't want to be a human. So horns, ears, basically symbolize, what's it called? You know, that I'm not human, right? And I'm evil, because I'm definitely evil. <laughs> I did a cute face. See, if I was, if I was like more confident, I would have not have had a cute face. I would have asked to make my face a bit more mature, right? 
um, the eagle clothing that's just me that's just my clothing style and i hope that you know with my clothing style when people see my my um png i hope that uh you know people that like alt clothing come watch my streams because look at the clothing i'm wearing please <laughs> please i want more friends that also wear alt clothing um right oversized jacket you know, even though everyone jokes about it all the time, I don't want people to think that I'm some kind of dummy mommy because even if I really want to be a dummy mommy, I'm not a dummy mommy. So I impl implemented the, the oversized jacket, right? To kind of symbolize I am not tall, <laughs> okay? And the high heel boots is just, I will step on you, right? And then you got this, and Darius looks like an edgy gremlin. That's how I came behind my, my what's it called? My, my design, also green, I like green. And uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, if you haven't seen it yet, this is this is what my Life 2D model, lo model looks like. I don't have legs, I don't have legs. Even here, I don't have legs, look, I don't have legs. So, there we go, yeah. Right, so I think, I don't remember who it was, but someone, I know someone asked a question uh, about this. Um, about standing up uh and your legs no <laughs> about like standing out and stuff there are a lot of vtubers out there and if you want to be memorable and stand out you need to be different um and i am going to be honest there are a lot of cute cat girls cute cat boys hot demon ladies hot demon guys um in fact there's so many that uh no it's getting oversaturated and um Especially if you want to be memorized, it's very important that you have something that sets you apart from other people. Um, it doesn't mean... Uh, <laughs> Okay, okay. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you can't be a cat VTuber. Just know that there's already a lot of cat VTubers out there and that you're gonna have to have something that sets you apart. Whether that's your voice, whether that's your talents. Um, what you do need to keep in mind is that um, you kind of need to do research on some things. Especially if you don't know a lot of VTubers, um, you're gonna need to do some digging. Because for example, Pink Cat Nanners. If you guys don't know Nanners, Nanners is a, also a huge VTuber. She's basically pink, she's a cat, she's very cute, plays variety games. Uh, and a lot of chatting and also very chaotic. Um, if you are also wanting to be a pink cat girl that's very cute, that's very chaotic, and that plays a lot of variety games, you are going to be compared to Nanners, and that's not going to be great for either of you. Um, so if you, you, you still can be a pink cat girl if you want, but know that there's a high chance that you're going to be compared to someone else, and that's not great for like the both of you. Um, so try to keep things original. If, there, if you want to be a hot demon lady, you can be a hot demon lady, but do something different with it. Don't don't. If you want to be if you want to be like Vox, that's fine. But don't um, but don't you know also be a demon. Don't also have pale skin. Don't also have black hair, uh, black, white, uh, red colors you're gonna be called Vox 2.0 and it's not gonna be great. Like, nobody's gonna remember you for you. People are gonna remember you for Vox 2.0 or for the Vox imposter or whatever, right? How to start VTubing culture. If you wanna become a VTuber, I, I heavily suggest doing some research into, into this. Um, since I don't think, I don't think you guys follow VTubing news very closely. Uh, but not too long ago, I won't say the name, and if you do figure out who it is, don't harass them. Um, but, oh yeah, Shy Lily Vebe, yeah, I saw that. You, yeah, you don't want that to happen. You really don't want that to happen. Um, but not too long ago, there was a VTuber that, you know, VTubing with huge bazonkas, and she said that she, uh, or they said, sorry, um, they said that they hated anime and they thought that anime was a mistake. And obviously, when you're a VTuber, you mm, you can have your opinions, sure, but it's very, very strange and hypocritical to say that when you're using a v, like a VTuber model that's you know inspired by anime. Um, I don't know if she did that on purpose or if she just didn't 
no for some reason um but to avoid stuff like that you want to do some research into this into this community um once i never watched hollow live or niji sancho and i became a vtuber <laughs> it's okay you don't have to watch them or anything but just you know know who they are like you don't you don't have to because i don't i don't watch hollow live either but uh i think you at least know what hollow live is right pingu you don't have to watch them you don't have to watch any vtubers to become a vtuber probably would be better if you did but you don't have to but just have some base knowledge about this all right hollow life if you don't know hollow life is um i think it's the biggest yeah the biggest um vtubing agency right now like a like a corporation um same with niji sanji uh niji sanji is th these two are actually competing right now for the top spot i think with how fast niji sanji has been growing i think um although this is too soon if any company wants to sponsor you or offer you pr media promotion what should you do about it um do some research on the company make sure that you're you know it's it's a good company right um it really depends on yourself kind of depends on if you want to accept sponsorships if the company fits like your content right because for example i am getting sponsorship offers by raid shadow legends like every month <laughs> get ready to put my email and then i see you have one pending sponsorship and i'm like oh my god sponsorship 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 and then i click on it and it's raid shadow legends raid shadow and i'm like legends. damn that's fucking trash <laughs> and that's no offense of course what do you think makes a good debut looking for advice before my debut this week oh <gasps> shao wait when is your debut a good debut is genuinely just a debut where you're able to show off everything about yourself all of the good things doesn't have to be like super fancy you don't have to pour like a lot of money into it for like visuals or and stuff um if you're just able to show off who you are, you know, be like, hello, this is me, this is my mold, this is what I look like. Um, these are stuff that I like, you know, I don't know, like favorite anime, favorite games, uh, di likes, dislikes, all the basic stuff, your name, maybe something about your lore and stuff. Um, and then maybe in the end, you can do something uh, where you show off you know your content or something like if you're good at singing maybe sing a song if you're good at um i was gonna say dancing maybe dance but that's gonna be hard uh, <laughs> if you're good at voice acting do some voice acting or show like a video of you voice acting or doing some impersonations um if you're insane at rhythm games flex with your rhythm game skills show that off another fun part target audience target audience yay okay okay so target audience uh i, I would say I'm, I'm gonna be honest here uh you're gonna need to try i said i said earlier that it's important to figure out what your target audience is uh doesn't have to be but i'm gonna explain why it is in a little bit um right we've got our own man here vox akuma from niji sanji right Hot DM man with amazing voice and voice acting skills. Uh, if you, in case you don't know who Vox is, um, he's got an amazing voice, a very deep, amazing voice, and he's great at voice acting. Um, and I know this is gonna sound maybe mean, maybe a little bit generalizing, um, but Vox's main target audience are single and thirsty men and women, mostly women. I know this might sound bad, but that's just how it is. You can't tell me that I'm wrong because whenever you go, whenever you go into Vox's channel and you look at the chat, you see exactly what I'm saying here. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being single or thirsty. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's what Vox's main target audience is, right? So Vox's content is mostly ASMR and roleplay. On the side, he also does variety games to make sure that the people that aren't just... Because, you know, even though I do say that Vox is a hot demon man with amazing voice and VA skills, Vox is more than that, of course. And there are people that watch Vox for, you know, maybe how his, his sense of humor or something, right? Um, that's why he also plays variety games. That's very smart that he doesn't, like, only... Uh, what's it called? Only limit himself to one kind of audience. He also plays variety games... Um, to what's it called you know not alienate the people that are not just there for you know him being hot right <laughs> but as you can see here this goes for a circle because um 
ASMR, uh, if you don't know, ASMR and roleplay content is very, 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 very popular with single and thirsty men and women. <laughs> like this sort of content attracts, you know, people like this and it goes full circle. See how that works? It would be nice if you can figure something out like this as well, like a full circle. Um, with your content. And that's why... Oh, right, also bonus points if you're providing a niche. For Vox, Vox was one of the first... Um, I do know I'm saying one of the first. One of the first. Not the first, one of the first. One of the first, like, male corpo VTubers that did fan service as well as he did at the time, right? So, you know, he was kind of providing a niche because there weren't a lot of other VTubers you could go to like this. So, you know, Boom, popularity. Um, all right, let me let me move on to the next one real quick. But like I said, it's okay if you don't have a target audience either. So this is Gura, probably one of, if not, is she the biggest right now? I think she's the biggest VTuber right now. Ah, <laughs> cute shark, gamer, memer, singer. She's good at a lot of different stuff, right? But her target audience is no one, not anyone specific. It's no one, but it's also everyone, right? <laughs> and um, see, it's completely fine if you don't have a target audience like Vox does. That's fine because um, she does everything. She plays games, she sings, she chats, she does ASMR sometimes. Um, and because it appeals to so many people, a lot of people are drawn to, uh, to watching Gura. Die-hard VTuber fans watching Gura, there's people that are new to that are new to or have never watched VTubers before that watch Gura. There's kids that watch Gura because she's um, very family friendly, she doesn't swear a lot. You can be like Gura as well and not have a target audience and just do a little bit of everything, right? That's fine. She's a very multi-talent, exactly. She's extremely well uh, good at what she does. Um, so if you want, you can do that too. Um, what I will say, I'll go into that a little bit later as well, is when you uh, what's it called? When you when you are appealing to a niche and only a niche, I don't think it's it hasn't. Eh, Vox has gotten in some trouble lately, but you do need to realize that if you are only providing to you know a certain a certain audience, that comes with limitations. You you're gonna have an extremely loyal audience, extremely loyal, because this happened to me when I was content uh, when I before I started VTubing, and I'll get into that a little later with pictures and everything. Um, you're gonna have an extremely loyal audience, but uh, when you want to do something else, it's going to uh, not be great for reasons that I'll tell later. <laughs> all right, yeah, this is you, okay? This is you. You're starting off as a VTuber, all right? This is what you gotta do for your target aud audience. This is what you wanna do first, or one of the first things you wanna do. Find your talents, your strength, and your skills, all right? Um, Pepe! <laughs> Find your talents, your strength, and your skills. Doesn't matter if you if you don't if you if you think that you don't have any. If you have no confidence in yourself, I am sorry, but you are not fit to be a streamer. That in that case, you are not fit to become a um, an entertainer if you've got no confidence in yourself. Like annoying people either just move on. Exactly, exactly. Oh my God, who just farted? What the heck? <laughs> Bits. <laughs> What if you have no talent? You have talent. If you don't have talent, get 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 some talent. I'm going I'm going to be very harsh here. All right, um, especially if you want to become a successful VTuber, you're not going to get far if you have no confidence. If you have no if you don't think you have any skills, because you do have skills. Um, and if you don't have skins uh, skins, <laughs> if you don't have skills, you can build those. You know, it's okay to not be confident in yourself all the time because I'm insecure about myself too. Um, but you need to have something you're confident in because at the end of the day, this is the internet, all right? Um, this is the internet. People are going to be mean to you one way or another and you're... Wait, whoa, hold on, what's this? Okay, get that away from me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, because at the end of the day, this is the internet, right? People are going to be mean. Um, for VTubing especially, when you form a community, people might look up to you. People might look up to you. People might look to you for inspiration. Um, uh, people might 
you know idolize you because that's how it is in the vitamin community if you're not confident in yourself if you're not you know if you're if you've got maybe like mental health issues um you should probably try to figure those out too or fix those before you know you uh before you hurt yourself or someone else right so once you've found your talents your strengths and your skills that doesn't ha even have to be anything like crazy right because for me i am i like even though you guys might be like oh my god you're you're no no nd you're you're great and stuff i'm not a very talented person um i can't sing i can't voice act um i can't draw you know talents like that i got none i just i'm just very creative and i know that i'm very cheerful and happy and that um what's it called uh, i get told that people are happy when they hang around me a lot of the time so you know i know that you know that's something i have and that's what i'm branding myself around that's what i'm gonna use that's what i'm gonna manipulate you guys with right because i'm making you happy and now you have to give me money <laughs> Don't give me money, I lied, don't give me money. But you know, that's how you kind of have to think. Don't think manipulative, but whatever it is that you think you're good at, use that. Whatever that is. If you're great at doing a fucking Mickey Mouse impression, use that. Use that. <laughs> Having good vibes is a talent to you all. And the equals serotonin. <laughs> and the farming for our socials, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Even if you're not good at some some of those things, as long as you're happy and having fun, it's really contagious and entertaining. Exactly, exactly. Like, you know, just being able to talk is a talent. Just being able to talk. Um, English already. I keep, I keep forgetting. Ah! <laughs> Even talking. Talking is a skill too. And for the bilinguals in here, because I know that we forget all the time, but if when you're bilingual, your English is a talent too, because there's a lot of people that can't speak. <laughs> There's a lot of people that can't speak English and you're able to do it fluently, right? That's a skill too. Um, so, you know, even when you think you don't have anything, really dig deeply, dig deeply. You'll find something. Could, maybe you're good at playing video games with your toes. That's, that's a skill too, bro. That's a skill too. You do have to be aware that uh, you're going to be, you know, growing a community. And um, even though it might not be nice to hear, you are partially responsible for how they act and interact with other people. Because, um, for example, if you guys were saying lewd things all the time, right? Oh, just know that, you know, I hope you don't get tired of, you know, getting simped for all the time. I don't think anyone can get ever get tired of that. But, you know, just, you know realize that right really think about it because that's that's what's gonna be around you all the time that's what you're gonna who you're gonna be streaming for all the time and um yeah these two correlate like your content and stuff right um like say you want to uh, relate to that uh because if you want a cozy audience that's not going to work if you only stream competitive league of legends right um you can make it work, absolutely you can make it work, but just know that if you're only streaming like competitive league, uh, the people that are gonna watch your streams are usually not very cozy people that like playing Animal Crossing, right? Um, that's why it's very, very smart actually to become, you know, a variety VTuber because wide audience, lots of people like different games and, um, you know, you know, you get people that watch you for you and not you for the game instead growth yes most importantly how to grow <laughs> oh, you guys are kissing in there okay okay snack listen we're about to have issues okay i'm just trying i'm just trying to teach other people why do you gotta shit on me like that man growth right growth is very important but it takes time okay it takes time doesn't matter how much water you pour in there doesn't matter how much fertilizer and poop you put in and doesn't matter how many suns you generate it's not going to happen in three like months or anything all right doesn't matter how it okay well mm. you know what does influence it money. money but i'll get into that later that's the very very sad reality of it but i will get into that later money does influence this unfortunately um but it takes time all right takes time <laughs> um again i'm gonna say i think i've said this earlier as well but shy lily shoto they did not get where they are now in like a like in two months don't expect yourself to blow up in like two months three months maybe even a year maybe even a uh, two years it might take four years before you're like where you want to be 
all right it takes time and that's like one of the hardest things i know um when you're when you're vtubing when you're streaming in general when you're a content creator in general i know it's really hard to keep you know putting stuff out keep putting all of your energy and time into this when maybe you're not getting the recognition that you deserve i know i know it's hard it's super frustrating but you can do it i promise um also to any vtubers that are watching right now that are maybe they feel like maybe you guys feel like you're stuck at like i don't know 500 600 1k 20 maybe you're maybe you're stuck at like maybe you feel like you're stuck and having no viewers don't worry don't worry just keep working you'll get there it takes time um nobody got where they were like all of the successful vtubers didn't get where they were like in one year um i'm stuck because i don't stream <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's you know that yeah <laughs> social media if you stream on twitch i'm gonna assume people here stream on twitch you can also stream on youtube that's fine if you stream on Twitch, you need a social media. You're not going to grow without social media. Listen to me, okay? This is so important. You're not going to grow without social media. You're not going anywhere if you're just on Twitch. There is no discoverability on Twitch. If you're just streaming, nobody will ever find you. Maybe maybe if you ever get raided by someone, sure, maybe someone finds you. But other than that, you're not going to grow. Or very slowly at least uh, if you even do in the first place uh, people most vtubers have a youtube or vedits a twitter and some also have a tiktok right um what you want to do as a vtuber is you want to grow your your community your fan base you want to do all of this on social media um don't do it on it's not gonna you can't you can't even do it on <laughs> on twitch don't do it on twitch please i beg of you if you're a vtuber right now if you're watching if you're a vtuber and you don't have a social media make one right now okay make one right now you're not gonna grow otherwise um some most most features also have a uh, a discord but i want a youtube because in case you know you're you're streaming and you have a vod vods expire they just do um and you know in case someone wants to see it, you can put it on YouTube. It's there forever until you delete it. It's there forever until you delete it. Um, with uh, There's also lots of discoverability with the shorts. Um, and you know, your stuff can get recommended to other people on YouTube as well. Reddit's great. I think there's a subreddit that's called uh, Virtual YouTubers where you can post your stuff and people might check you out. Um, I won't lie, I don't have too much experience with Reddit. Um, but Reddit's also a place where you can, you know, uh, advertise yourself. Does it matter if you don't have multiple forums on social media, just focusing on your streams and one or two platforms rather than trying to do more than that? Yeah, yeah, it's completely fine to have like, uh, to only have like Twitter or something. That's fine. Just make sure it's not just Twitch. Like at least one of these, at least one of these. TikTok is also great because TikTok is fucking huge right now. All right, TikTok's huge. But with TikTok, you need to be careful because right now, while it's also popular, there's a lot of people that are hating on VTubers on TikTok right now. So I think it might be best to wait until that dies down. Um, or, you know, at least be aware that, uh, you know, there, there might be hate on there. Uh, secondly, TikTok is a lot of Gen Z. <laughs> A lot of Gen Z are on TikTok. So know that if you are going to advertise yourself on TikTok, um, you might get some influx of Gen Z viewers. It doesn't ha necessarily have to be a good, uh, a bad thing. It doesn't have to be a good thing, right? Um, and you're Gen Z, exactly, exactly. Um, so, you know, just be aware that if you advertise yourself on TikTok, you are going to get Gen Z, generally like younger people uh, coming to your streams. Um, doesn't have to be bad, doesn't have to be good. It's a, you know, very flip coin. It's huge though, TikTok's huge. Uh, Twitter is great for networking. If you wanna get to know other, uh, other YouTubers, other VTubers, um, wanna, you know, look for collabs, maybe in the future, look for making new friends, Twitter's the place to do it. If you only have time for managing one social media account, it's definitely, you should definitely do Twitter. Reddit, like I said, I don't have too much experience with Reddit. Um, but you know, it's another place where you can share and where people can, you know, find you. YouTube, you already heard what I said about YouTube, right? It's basically the same as TikTok, but I think YouTube is a little bit better than TikTok right now. Um, TikTok's bigger, but YouTube um, is a little bit more specific in the algorithm and recommending you to people that, you know, um, 
are actually interested, if that makes sense. Yeah, like I said it earlier, but if you don't have time for all of these, I do think you should start on Twitter because like I said, friends are super important in the VTubing community. You're not gonna get very far without any friends in this, in this, uh, in this industry. Uh, now we're gonna get into networking. If you don't know what networking is, it's basically... Um, think of it as business partners. Think of it as, yeah, think of it as business partners, but in the VTubing community, it's very important you do not just see people here as business partners, all right? I'll get into that for a little bit, uh, in a little bit. Um, but networking is basically where you get to know other streamers and, um, you know, you kind of, you kind of help each other out. And this is, you know, even though it might not sound very important or very impactful, this is one of the most if not important things if you want to grow you're not going to grow without networking um a big part of it is also because of the algorithm i will explain more about the algorithm in a little bit as well um but for example twitch has the recommendation um what's it called sharing viewers equals everyone bigger exactly um you are not going to be put in the recommended if you do not interact with other people. Um, while I don't know exactly how Twitch algorithm works, uh, you know, if you raid other people, if you interact with other streamers and stuff, right? That's also how you get raids. You know, if you raid other people, maybe they'll raid you back in the future. Don't, don't go raiding people expecting that to happen. That's like a horrible, um, that's like a horrible mindset to have. But you know, if you raid other people, um, they might raid you back in the future. And interact with other streamers and, and their posts, very important on Twitter. Um, so for example, on Twitter, algorithm, you are not going to get recommended to anyone on Twitter if you don't interact with anyone. If all you do is you just post, you post and post and post and post, and you don't interact with anyone, Twitter's not going to recommend you to any to anybody. Um, your posts are not going to get seen if you do not comment on the people's posts, if you do not retweet, if you do not like anything, you are not being shown to anyone. Twitter recognizes this. Twitter knows that you're not doing anything. You're not contributing anything to their pro platform. They, Twitter knows, okay? Making friends and mutuals, super important. In the VTuber community, um, when you're networking, like I said earlier, always uh, or get in touch with someone with intentions of befriending them or at least becoming mutuals or and respecting each other, right? Not to gain clout, not to grow. Don't don't reach out to someone just because you want to grow reach out because they're interesting because you've got common interests joining other communities and being active in those communities all right when i started most of my growth was owed to someone called gembu gembu aniki gembu invited me gembu and i interacted on twitter gembu invited me to a discord server with other vtubers and i collabed a bunch with everyone i collabed a bunch with everyone i got to know a bunch of people i still talk to them now we're friends and I owe a lot of growth and, you know, learning from him. Yeah. Look, this is, this is, I'm in this collab. <laughs> right, Gambu is very, he's incredibly kind. If you're a VTuber right now, you guys should definitely check out Gambu and join his Discord. Um, everyone's very friendly in there. You can make new friends, you can learn new stuff. Even though I'm saying this, only go in there with good intentions. Don't get in there to leech off of other people. Go in there to make friends. If you're afraid that your viewers run away from you because of announcing another streamer, you should overthink yourself and your content. Sharing and networking is basic. Exactly, preach it, psych- you, Yeah, yeah, shout outs are important as well. Shout outs are important as well. Sharing your audience, all of that is very important. Also very important to not compare yourself with anybody, all right? Everyone grows at their own rate. Do not compare yourself with other streamers. It's going to turn you into a toxic person because there are going to be people that are maybe not as talented as you, right? Maybe, let's say uh, you play an instrument. Let's say you play piano or something. Um, and there's another VTuber that plays piano as well. Maybe not as well as you, but they have like uh, a bigger following. That's comparing yourself with that person is going to make you a toxic person. Do not compare yourself with other VTubers, all right? Focus on yourself. Um, if you don't think you can look at other people without comparing yourself to them, um, 
Again, I think that might be a mental thing. You're going to have to work on that before you start streaming. I mean this, I know it might sound really fucking mean, but if you've got confidence issues, please, please work them out first. You cannot start, be, uh, start being an entertaining uh, or an entertainer or a streamer when you've got no confidence in yourself, all right? Comparing will always lead to a downhill slope. Exactly. Don't do that. No doing that. I have this issue about comparing myself with others, but instead of being toxic towards others, um, it hurts me and put myself down. Yeah, that's not great. No, 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 no. D try not to um, compare yourself to others. Instead, try to focus on yourself. I know that that's like way easier said than done, um, but if you think that happens every single time you watch someone or you interact with someone, uh, you should probably try to work on yourself a little bit more. Um, I, I will be honest. I will be completely honest here, and this might sound mean, but I've never had an issue like that before, so I don't know what I can say to help you there, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, actually, this might be common if you're an introvert and you're about to stream and you have no skills in socializing or interacting, and how do you deal with your introvertness? Um, yeah, funny story, if you're new here, uh, I'm an introvert. <laughs> I'm the biggest introvert you'll ever meet. I have social anxiety. I don't talk to people in real life. Um, so for me, um, how do I explain how I like do this? Like me talking like this, right? Me talking to you, to you guys like this, like keeping the conversation going, um, staying happy. That's a skill I learned. Uh, I am not like this you know, uh, normally. I think a lot of people are very different on stream compared to off stream as well. Right now, I am putting a lot of extra like energy and happiness and like good vibes into myself. And like, I'm trying to project it onto you guys. <laughs> Talking like this, right? It's hard. Um, like being able to entertain people when there's literally nobody talking because right now i'm talking to my monitor right or well technically i'm talking to you guys but i'm alone in my room like there's nobody talking i'm not playing a game i'm just explaining something right like that is a skill in itself as well um you learn that don't worry danish like as you stream more and more that's why streaming is important um as you stream more and more and you do you you work more and more and you get more experience you'll learn it you'll learn how to do it because uh, at the start, when I was streaming as well, I only spoke like every 10 minutes. Trust me. Like, talking like this is a skill you learn. Uh, like, even introverts. Like, I'm introverted as well. I think a lot of VTubers... I think a lot of VTubers are actually introverted. Um, all right. We're going to talk about the do's and don'ts for networking. Because as Eric said earlier, you always want to go. And as I said earlier as well, you always want to go into networking with good intentions. All right. Don't don't be like this. Don't be like, oh my god, you know, I see another bigger bigger feature, but this is you, all right? You can't be like, you like RPGs, RPGs too? Haha, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm debuting next week. I love your design. Um, oh, thank you. Yes, I love them a lot. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> fellow RPGs, uh, tubers gotta stick together. Can I get a shout out from you? You know, since we're both RPG lovers. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. A lot of bigger VTubers know. They, they can recognize that, so don't even try. Don't even think of doing that. If you think of doing that, I'm gonna smack you across the face, okay? Don't do that, okay? That's mean. Yeah, ta-da! Look, I made, I made, oh, I made, <laughs> I made a little, a little scale for you guys, right? This is what you want to do. This, on the left we have, I want to be friends with big streamers so I can benefit off their big audience. No. No. In the middle, we have mutuals with common interests. And on the end, we have genuine friends, okay? reach out to someone when you think and you want to become mutuals at, at the very least mutuals with, with common interests at, this is the very bottom this is the bare minimum when you reach out to someone all right this is the bare fucking minimum anything less don't if i see you doing this i will fucking <coughs> smack you across the face so even though i say that you know you need to go in there with good intentions and being genuine friends uh do realize that uh it's still kind of like business partners, right? You can still become genuine friends with people, don't get me wrong, but there are VTubers that would rather keep, you know, VTuber friends and their, you know, their genuine friends that they, you know, 
confide their darkest secrets and their struggles and stuff in. You know, they want to keep those two things separate. So just keep that in mind. Right, we're going to talk about going viral. Yay! Going viral is really fucking rare and unpredictable. Has to do with the has to do with the algorithm. Um, I'll, I'll explain that in a second. Um, like on Twitter, you might see VTubers like blow up all the time with their art, with their with their clips, with their I don't know with their tweets. Uh, you might see it on TikTok. You know, really popular VTubers blowing up and stuff. Um, but reality is, it doesn't. It's it's really fucking rare. Even if you do see it very often, it's it's most likely not going to happen to you and it's very unpredictable but you can increase your chances of going viral though by manipulating the algorithm yay okay now what is the algorithm i can hear you guys say um algorithm is basically like uh, what do you call this like a program a program a piece of code um basically a thing that keeps people on the platform almost every single social media platform has it twitter has it twitch has it it's really bad on twitch <laughs> twitch has it youtube has it and you can't control it you can't control it um what you can do is try to get the algorithm to work in your favor um participating in popular trends um but for example for twitch Twitch algorithm, like getting recommended or getting onto the recommended pace for like a, a specific game on Twitch is based on interactivity in the chat. It's kind of whack, but um, you're only going to get recommended if your chat is super active, if people are using channel points, if people are subbing. That's why you always see subathons in recommendations because people are spending money. And um, the algorithm recognizes that, hey, there's a lot of people spending money on this person's stream. A lot of people talking, a lot of people doing lots of stuff, lots of interaction. If we show this, um, if we show this stream to this person, they will stay on our site longer and we will get more money. Oh my God, that's great. That's how the algorithm on Twitch works. Um, on Twitter, I think I talked about this a little, like a little while ago. On Twitter, you need to interact with other posts because um, otherwise the algorithm will recognize that you're just kind of a post bot and you're not doing anything. <laughs> Twitter knows. Twitter will not recommend your post to anyone if you're, if you're not liking, commenting, and retweeting. Um, YouTube, YouTube is a lot more complicated. YouTube is a little bit more specific, a little bit more personalized to that. Uh, you can still use tags in um, on YouTube too, but I'm not too sure how it works there. Um, generally, also, that's also why I will get into that as well later when we're talking about controversial things. Twitter will put you with people that are like-minded. So if you ever start, if you're very like drama, if you like drama, um, Twitter is going to recommend you to and recommend people to you that are very uh, drama related. So I... When I say stay away from drama, I mean it, you guys. It's so easy. It's so easy to get swept up in these things because you can't, you don't, you can't see that it's happening. But don't, just whenever there's drama, don't involve yourself in it. Um, right, keeping up with trends and hashtags. Um, almost every single platform has hashtags that you can use to get to the proper audience that you need to be. Um, Twitter has them. You need to be using the VTuber hashtag everywhere. I'm on YouTube. YouTube has hashtags too. Use them on YouTube. Use them on TikTok. Use them on Twitter. Use them on... Um, I don't... Wait, actually, Reddit doesn't have hashtags, does it? It has tags, but like not hashtags. Um, make consistently good content. Yeah, consistency is incredibly important. Because when you do get go viral, you're not going to, you know... You're, uh, you don't have any control over it. Um, the algorithm's gonna be like, oh, hey, you know what? This guy, this guy, this guy has some has some good content. We're gonna recommend this to a lot of people. See what happens. When that happens, you want that whatever got picked out of your content, you want that to be good, and you don't have any control over what post that is. So you're gonna have to be consistently making good stuff so that in the off case that you do get recommended to a bunch of people and a bunch of people see it, it's good stuff, right? That's very important. Um, hold on, what else is there? Be different. Uh, it's kind of contradictory with keeping up with trends. Um, 
but you know when you're when you're when you're doing trends try to you know be different still right keep at it yeah yeah it's it's like consistency keep doing it because you're not gonna go viral if you don't have anything posted if you're not posting anything there's nothing to make you go viral with so keep posting keep working you got this maybe one day one day you you never know you could go viral oh my god nina remember what i said about not putting yourself in a box uh, with content like it's fine if you only want to it's fine like say you're really good at valorant right uh, right, it's fine if you only play Valorant, that's fine, but there's gonna be drawbacks to that too. You're gonna have a lo uh, loyal audience, but that's what happened to me, all right? I'm gonna, this is this is like before I became a VTuber, all right? Thank you for the lurk, Icarus! Um, so this is like pre-Endy lore, right? Exclusive pre-Endy lore. Before I was a VTuber, I was a content creator on Instagram and um, even though I didn't, like, my following was, like, uh, I think this was, like, I took the screenshot, like, a while ago, but I think my following was, like, about 5k, right? Lore! And I only posted Overwatch. I made, um, like, I used to be a top 500 Overwatch player, so I made a lot of content revolving that, a lot of competitive, funny moments, right? And I would make those into videos, video edits, and, um, what's it called? And I would post that and it went viral at one point. Um, so, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can, I don't think you can read the numbers. So I'm going to zoom in a lot. Can you read those numbers? Uh, but yeah, because I, okay, actually I'm going <laughs> to, because I limited myself to Overwatch, the community I built was only interested in Overwatch, right? They didn't, uh, yes, they did watch me because you know i was entertaining and i had an incredibly loyal community here um everyone was incredibly kind i almost i had like close to zero hate comments i had so many nice comments under every single video so much support so many nice dms i, I got fan art too at one point <laughs> i got fan, i got fan art too at one point but because i limited myself to overwatch um something happened you can see i think i think it's readable right um, uh, over here, I would average around like 33k, 16k, 44k, 11k. Like those were my my average view uh, views on my videos, right? Um, 44k was like the highest I ever got. I think maybe the highest I ever got was like 50k. Like 50k to like 10k was normal for me for every single post, but. As soon as I branched out to other content, Dead by Daylight, Minecraft, Apex, you can see that the numbers went down drastically. Like over here, we only have 1K, 1.7K, 2.9K. That's a huge difference compared to 44K, right? <laughs> no, but the Minecraft video was hilarious. <laughs> I know, it was great, it was great. What are you from Toy Story? <laughs> right right but um just realize that if you're gonna create content for like only a specific game or only a specific genre like fps um people might not watch if you're gonna branch out to other stuff right um so like for me overwatch was the thing what's the best way to add other content and get that out there if you only play a couple of games regularly um, I won't lie, I'm pretty sure I misheard this question, so I just spoke about something that wasn't asked. Um, but the best way to introduce new stuff is to check um, what other uh, streamers are playing. Usually, you, it, it's pretty easy if you just go to Twitch and you just see which uh, games are really popular at the time. You can try them out. Um, like recently, there's this game called Stray that a lot of people have been playing. Uh, if you just keep up with that, uh, just try playing a new trending game every now and then. About this is the spicy part. The spicy part. All right, pretty privilege. Um, as you guys know, in streaming, like just normal streaming, there's pretty privilege in almost everything in life. There's pretty privilege, and there is pretty privilege too in VTubing. Yay! 
if you for some reason don't know what pretty privilege is it's you know extra privileges or extra like in streaming it's pretty well known that if if you're hot if you're good looking you will get more viewers than someone who's not hot or good looking that's just the way it is although you might think hey okay vtubing nobody can see what i look like i can pick what i look like um, there's no pretty privilege here. There is. There's two sorts of pretty privileges in VTubing. One of them is voice. There is voice privilege in VTubing. Voice is very important in VTubing because it's basically the only, you know, the only thing you hear and quote unquote see from, you know, the, the VTuber. And if your voice does not sound great, uh, you're not gonna become very popular, uh, unless you have some other stuff that makes up for it um compared to if you have a very cute voice or a very hot voice you're gonna go viral very very quickly um the other one is money because even though i say that you know you can look whatever you want um like i said vtuber models are expensive um and you, you know, obviously, the more expensive they are, the better quality they are. And obviously, not a lot of people have that kind of money. But if you do have that kind of money, what if you sound like a potato? <laughs> if you do have that kind of money, you can buy fame. Uh, it's really fucking sad, but money does matter here. If you look amazing, uh, you, you're going to get some form of success. Um, whether that success stays with you, depends on how you act onwards to that uh, because you know even if you get all of the even if you get all of the eyes on you if you can't keep those eyes on you they're gonna leave very quickly um but that is still an advantage right because a talented person with a pretty model will get famous way way faster than a talent than a talented person with no pretty model right um and i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna be a little bit mean here I'm gonna be mean here. Uh, sometimes when I'm checking out other VTubers, um, I see so many VTubers with amazing models, with very attractive, very attractive, amazing models or with amazing voices, but they're so boring. <laughs> I'm, Cause I'm gonna be honest, like even though um, this is gonna be so mean, but there are VTubers out there that genuinely all they do is they have a pretty a pretty face they just sit there they play valorant and they only say something in like a raspy e-boy voice every like 10 minutes right it's quiet they don't interact with their chats but they still are averaging 100 viewers uh you know even if they look some people are very pretty but they are really bad at entertaining and they still get views um it's like this as well in VTubing, unfortunately. Um, right, so VTweeters usually are born um, because like, like I said earlier, networking or like uh, using social media is important. But some people take that a little bit too seriously and only post on Twitter. Don't do that <laughs> because then you turn into a VTweeter. And VTweeters are basically quote unquote VTubers that never stream, never put out any content, but they only tweet and um, only post like memes and stuff. Um, and then, you know, they, they might have absolutely massive numbers on Twitter, like 10K viewers, but then we click on their Twitch, it's only 2K people there. And maybe when they stream, they only have like two viewers. You don't want that to happen to you unless you want to become a VTweeter, be my guest. I don't think anyone wants to, but be my guest. Um, to avoid that from happening, you need to stream. You need to make content. You can't just because um, yes, most of the time you can only you can only post when you're pre debut, right? Because you don't really have your um, your model yet, or maybe you don't want to spoil what you sound like or something. That's fine in that case. But even then, I really suggest streaming still a lot, like maybe with your PNG or something, or putting some sort of content out like it can, it can even be like a song cover it can even be like i don't know a funny edit please put content out okay put content out don't become a v tweeter and just tweet like you're not no and um like i don't know i don't remember who said it but there was someone earlier that said that um twitter i think it was pingu yeah 
like Pingu said, um, Twitter followers usually don't really um, carry over to Twitch. Um, some people do, some people do, don't get me wrong, but generally I have seen people with like 1k followers on Twitter and only 200 on um, 200 on Twitch. People with 20k followers on Twitter, only like 1k on Twitch. Um, Twitter's not everything, okay? Twitter's not everything. Um, just remember that and please stream, please stream, put out content, put out videos, do something. Don't become a VTweeter, okay? Um, second kind of controversial topic is role-playing versus staying yourself. Um, as a VTuber, because, you know, you're kind of, you can be whoever you want. It's the internet and you're, you know, you're, you're a pretty anime girl. You can look like whatever you want to look like. Um, there's a lot of VTubers that prefer um, acting a certain way uh, instead of you know being like or instead of being true to themselves, and that's fine. Don't like don't don't worry that that's fine. Um, but just know that if you are gonna put up like a fake persona like that, that's fine. But um, that's gonna be exhausting, and you're gonna have to hold that image every single time you're streaming. Uh, recognize that if you're role playing. Um, People are not going to like you for you, um, if that makes sense. And that might, uh, depending if you're okay, because, you know, maybe you're okay with that. That's fine. Um, do something to your mentality. It's generally, like, not great to kind of realize that they don't like you for you. They like you for the person you're pretending to be. That's not great. If you enjoy role-playing and you're completely fine with that, that's fine. But you really need to kind of figure out for yourself how you want to do this, right? Artist exposure. This also has to do with money because unfortunately money can buy you fame in the VTuber industry, just like pretty privilege. Um, artist exposure can buy you fame. Um, what I mean by that is uh, sometimes, um, or like what a lot of people do is they commission artists to make art of them. Um, like, haha, <laughs> like I'm gonna do some, uh, some self promo. I commissioned some art of my characters on not too long ago by Yomitsu, and it looks amazing. You guys should see it. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys right now. Hold on. Look, look, look. You know, art like this. Art like this. You commission art like this, right? And artist exposure basically happens when happens is most of the time artists like these also have their own communities, you know, their own following. They, maybe they stream as well. And when they make art, usually they also post that on their own social media. And because they're famous and because a lot of people like their art, um, you know, they're going to put this and be like, okay, Hi guys, this is my new commission that I worked on, and this is uh, Andy, this is Endearest, uh, this is her Twitch, right? When a lot of people see that, that like the art, they're gonna be like, Oh my god, this looks amazing, I wanna see this, I wanna see this design, I wanna... And that way, the artist's fans will come to you. So, in a way, you can buy fame by commissioning a very popular artist um, and get exposure that way. Or by, um, you know, that's how pre pretty privilege works as well. If you commission your Life 2D character to be made by a very uh, popular artist, um, people will be like, oh my god, this is amazing. I want to see this move, and they're going to follow you. Uh, drama posting, right? Cancel culture. Um, might not be great to discuss right now, but um, you can go big by drama posting. Absolutely not the way to go viral or to gain popularity or grow, but it's a way. Um, because if you say something controversial or something drama inducing, um, you're attracting a lot of attention to you. Lots of it is negative. That's why it's not a good idea to do that. But there's also some people with the same uh, mindset as you that will follow you because they think, oh my God, this person has the same opinion as me, even though it's absolutely horrible. Um, you can get grow like this. It's mostly negative though. So definitely don't do that. And um, like I said, Twitter will surround you or recommend you and recommend to you people that 
give the same energy vibes. So, uh, oh my god, I just got gifted a sub. What the heck? <laughs> It's all in the corner of my eye. And while it might feel like you're growing, um, you're basically surrounding yourself in like this negative echo chamber, right? Drama posting is a way to get famous. And that's why you see some people do it because they are so attention starved. They want to get attention any way they can. And they do it by doing this. Okay, so parasocial relationships. If you don't know what that is, it's basically the relationships um, that kind of form um, where you as the viewer um, think that you have a genuine friendship or genuine relationships with a uh, or genuine relationship with the streamer, even though the streamer literally does not know you exist. Um, parasocial relationships are usually very, very like um, common in um, communities where that, that are a little bit on the bigger side, and communities where um, the streamer does not set clear boundaries and usually plays into um, like plays into you know, role play and place into fan servers a lot, right? For example, I'm gonna take Vox as an example again, I'm sorry. <laughs> example, um, even though Vox has set his boundaries, there's a there's still quite some people that form parasocial relationships with him. And it's not just with him, it's with a lot of VTubers um, and streamers in general. Um, because, you know, we're very nice, especially when, when streamers, especially VTubers, are very nice. And um, they're, they're pretty anime characters and, you know, oh my god, they are saying hi to me in chat. They're talking to me in chat. We're having a conversation. Yes, that is true, but we are not friends, right? Um, Vox is like the one good kid who is perfect for every class to tell off. Here as well, I don't think I have been very clear in my boundaries as well, but I do want to make clear that you now even though you guys are amazing, I love talking to you guys, we're not friends, okay? Though it might hurt, but we're not friends, okay? Um, like I said, uh, like most streamers also put on like a very different like personality or very different compared to when off stream yes we are friends but also no we're not friends because if i'm ever like if i'm ever depressed i'm never going to tell you guys about it and similarly if you guys are ever depressed or have mental health issues please don't come to me about it either right um you are a companion exactly i am a companion um <laughs> Also, um, while I can't say that this is the case for most VTubers, um, for me especially, I am putting forward my best self right now. If you only, like, watch my streams, right? If you only, like, watch my streams, only see me talk every now and then in the Discord server, only see my, my Twitter posts, um, you are only seeing the best version of myself because I am filtering myself right now. Um, I am pulling all of my best features forward, like all of my good energy, all of my all of my prettiest words, all of my, my, my happiness and stuff. This is not how I am normally. This is not how I am normally. You're not seeing my flaws that I am hiding. I've got so many flaws that I am hiding, you guys. Most VTubers can't say that they're really your friends because they're, this is the best version of them that you're seeing. Uh, and everyone has flaws, but you're not seeing those flaws uh, of streamers stream. Like, even if I'm, like, laughing at your at your comments, even though I'm replying to your comments, even though we're having a conversation, um, at the end of the day, I don't know you, and you don't know me. Like, it, it's really sad, but I have no idea who you- OW! <laughs> at the end of the day, I have no idea who you are, and you have no idea who I am either. Yeah! <laughs> Um, the first step to being a friend is telling them your mother's maiden's name, the last four of your socials, the name of your dog, and where you grew up. Wait, actually, you guys, the first step of being my friend is telling me the four, um, the digits on the back of your credit card, as well as the last, uh, wait, as well as, the, like, the date, what, what is it? What was it? The date of your, uh, as well as your, like, your pin code and your, uh, the expiration date. Yeah, that's the first step to becoming friends with me. That's very important, all right? Um, this section made Andy lose 70% of her colds. <laughs> and that's also, unfortunately, why I, I can guarantee you, I, I won't, I, I'm not going to lie, I can guarantee you, even now already, 
if I told, I don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but if I told people that I had a boyfriend or a girlfriend or on Twitter that I announced that I'm in a relationship, I can guarantee you I'm going to lose followers even now, like already. I am going to lose followers already. Like, even though we're not big, I already know I'm going to lose followers. Um, and that's with a lot of VTubers. That's the case. Wait, <laughs> wait. Um, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, you guys. But like, because of, if you're a VTuber and you announce that you're in a relationship, you're going to lose a lot of appeal because a lot of people um, like to, you know, follow VTubers so they can simp for them. I really do. Um, let me set up the read can can hi key. There we go. Thank you, thank you, Kohai. All right, as usual, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate it. Like whether you were lurking, whether you were just vibing, whether you were um chatting, uh, whether you joined late. <laughs> Um, whether you joined late, whether you were late to class, whether you were early to class, I appreciate it a lot. If you're... Oh! <laughs> Thank you for the head pad that's padding air right now. Uh... <laughs> um, also, thank you for... Thank you for the bonk. Um, thank you if you're watching the VOD right now, because I know there's people that do. Hi, I know who you are. I know you're here. What's up? I appreciate you. But um, yeah, thank you guys for coming to class today. Next class is tomorrow at 5. Professor Andy Raid. <laughs> oh my god, neat. If you want, you guys can copy that one as well if you want. 